Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naris Technologies and in today's session, so I am going to explain how to create reports using report builder. So, there is a tool called D2K, uh, D2K mainly comes with two tools, one is forms and reports. So, forms are mainly used for creating uh, front ends, front end forms and reports are mainly report 6 side, the reports tool is used mainly to create reports. Yeah, so, it comes with two tools, forms and reports and so in today's session we will see how to create a report. In SQL also. Uh, we can create reports, you run a query select star from something table name, select star from suppose for example, EMP select star from customer like this. If you run a query select star from EMP, so it will display the data, but what is the difference between a creating a reports in SQL plus a creating a report in uh, using uh, report builder, uh, reporting tools. The difference is in SQL plus we can only display data, but we cannot format it. But using this reporting tools we can display as well as we can also format like any example for this. For example, suppose I, uh, I want to display the employees data, I want to display employees salaries. So, if salary greater than 3000, I want to display salaries in green color if salary is less than 3000, I want to display salaries in red color, equal to 3000, I want to show it in blue color, this is not possible in SQL plus. Okay. So, what is this is called formatting, that is not possible in SQL plus, but whereas it is possible in reporting tools. So, not only this, there are several advantages of using reporting tools, first let us see one simple report. Okay. Then, so here I am using a, a tool called report builder tool. So, you install D2K, after installation of D2K, you will get these two tools report builder, form builder. So, this is for creating forms and this is for creating reports. Now, zoom, a, a report can be created in two ways, one is using report wizard and another one manually. Uh, there are two methods to create report using wizard and using manually. First let us see how to create reports using wizard, later we will see how to create the reports manually. First I am using uh, selecting this option ok. Now, so this report wizard is started, so click next. So, here what you have to select, you have to select the type of the report, what type of report you want to create, whether you want to create the tabular report. So, reports are different types, one is tabular, form, mailing label, form letter, group left, group above, matrix, matrix with group. So, these are the different types of reports you can create by using report wizard. So, first I want to see the tabular report, first we will see the tabular report. So, select tabular click next, select tabular click next. So, here there are two options here SQL statement express query, but what do you want to use? So, my, my data is there in Oracle database, then select SQL statement, because to get the data from relational databases. So, we write SQL query, so select SQL statement. If you, if your database is there in so, whatever the data you want to show it in the report, if the data is there in express, uh, this is a called MDB, multi dimensional database, okay. then, then you select express query, but my data is there in Oracle database, then select SQL statement. If it is there in relational database, select SQL statement, if it is there in multi dimensional database select express query. 
So, I am selecting SQL statement click next. So, enter SQL query. So, I enter some SQL query. So, what is this is select star from EMP. Select star from EMP. So, click next. So, what is this is asking? It is asking username and password. So, where is your data? Suppose, uh, what is your what do you want to create? I am, I am creating a report. In that report, what do you want to show? I want to show employees data. But where is that employees data? It is there in Oracle database. So, which user? Username is called. And what is the password? Tiger. So, what is the database name is? Database name is ORCL. So, username is called. Password is Tiger. Database name is ORCL click connect connected so after connecting so what it is showing is it is showing the list of fields in emp table so whatever the fields are there in emp table it is showing the list of fields employee number name job mgr height date salary commission department number so in in report what fields you want to include whether you want to include all the fields if you want to include all the fields select this one so all fields are added to the report but i don't want to add all these fields to the report i want to add only specific fields in report i want to show employee number name salary like this then so whichever the fields you want to add to the report select that field click this button so that field is added to the report so i want to add employee name select e name click this one employee name is added i want to add job I want to add salary, select salary. So, only these fields are added to the report, number, name, job, salary. Click next. So, do you want to do any calculations like sum, max, min, average, count? No. So, I do not want to do any calculation. So, simply say next, next. So, these are the fields added. So, it is showing the labels, employee number, name, job, salary and what is the width for employee number, what is the width for employee name and what is the width for job salary. Click next. So, it is showing the predefined templates. So, what is the template you want to use? So, corporate 1 then, then the report will be created like this, corporate 2 then the report will be created like this, confidential heading. So, then background then like it is showing the list of four. A list of uh, predefined templates. So, whichever the template you want, you select the template. So, I am selecting this one. So, I am selecting the corporate to select this one. So, click next and click finish. A report is created. And what is this report includes? This report includes employee numbers, name, job, salaries. After creating this report, so, I, I can send this report to the printer. So, there is a what print click this print button and this is sent to the printer. I can send it to email like there is an option here mail click this mail you can send it to mail next. So, if you want you can save this report I can save this report with extension RDF a report definition file ok then. So, this is a how to create a, a simple report in uh, D2K by using report builder tool. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe to Narayshaiti.